Hi guys and welcome back to Rags Witches. I'm Lauren and today's video is what I have got from my granddad's house. We have been clearing it out and making everything more minimal and livable because literally everything has been hoarded at his house um, and we've also been sorting out my past grandma's stuff. So um, also some of my mum's stuff are in here which has just been crazy which is yeah, never been sorted out, so it needs a sorting out, so we'll be clearing it out. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we have cleared out. We found this um, horse. Um, my mum actually did buy this off eBay, but unfortunately, her leg is missing. <laughs> so she's a bit uh, damaged, but I don't know how much we're going to get for her. Um, she is stamped. I can't really see it very well. It's quite worn. But um, yeah, I don't think it'll be a great profit because obviously she has lost her leg. She's legless. Um, so yeah, and then also we have some sort of uh, secret camera, but it's all in like Chinese. Um, I'm not sure. I need to check if everything's in there and working. Um, but I think it could be about thirty quid possibly. Um, so yeah. Um, then we've got like this crystal glass, drinking glass. But look how that sparkles. Oh, how fabulous! I'm keeping this. This is the only thing I'm keeping. Um, just because we are always so low on glasses, um, but yeah, that really does sparkle. How fabulous! So yeah, that is the only thing I'm going to be keeping. Um, then we have like this. I can't even see. Strata Strataron made in England makeup compact. Um, it's vintage. I'm just gonna try this out. It still has like the little, um creamy puff thing in there and it's all gold and you can see the print on it but yeah there's the puff with the instructions I don't think it's actually been used um, and then there's a mirror inside of it as well you can see what I'm watching on tv which is The Hunted on channel 4 if you've never seen it go check it out it's absolutely brilliant it's basically like 10 members of the public going and trying to get away from MI5 or MI6 or I don't even know what it is but basically proper agents um, or ex-agents I think um, okay so then we have this um, jewel that my mum had back in the 80s and it came on a necklace but basically it's the pendant thing from it so I'm going to try and sell that on its own and then um, then she's got this ring it's not real, it's just a cocktail ring. But yeah, that shows up quite pretty. But yeah, I'm going to sell that as well. Um, and then we have this watch I'm going to be selling. And then this um, BHS. It's not the actual British Home Stores. It's British Horse Association vintage pin. So it's really tiny. It's just a horseshoe with a thing on it so I'm going to try and sell that um, and then we've got like this giant like trifle glass jar it's really heavy and I believe it is actually um, Edinburgh crystal I'm sorry if you can hear my little boy right now I've told my partner to watch him while I do this video which he's clearly not doing so great <laughs> so I'm sorry if you can hear him but yeah so yeah, my mum said this was Edinburgh Crystal. It was really, really heavy. So God knows how I'm going to send that. And then we've got this. I don't know what these are called. I'll have to ask my mum because I have no idea. But I've seen them about. And it's it's like burning rope situation. Um, so yeah, I don't, I, I don't think it's been used. So basically you like put the liquid in there. Start burning that. So yeah. I've no idea, it's quite pretty actually. Not everyone's colour though, I must admit, but I suppose it'd be a nice little gift for like maybe Mother's Day. I might list it as Mother's Day. Okay, then we've got this uh, silver serving tray. I'm just looking to see if it has any markings on it, which I can't see, so I don't think it is silver plated. Because I can't see, you know, the if it's silver plated, I do believe the the number on it, it says 925, but I can't see anything, so it is really, really pretty. And then it has like a laser design on it as well, imprinted type of thing. 
Um, not sure on how much that actually is worth. So that is everything over on the sofa. Now, my mum has put some things in some bags and I've got a load of records here and I haven't actually looked at them, so I have no idea. My mum said there was a pair of pants in there, so God knows what I'm going to pull out, I'll be honest. Um, she did all this while I was at work, she, and I, while I was at work, so I was like, oh, can you get me all that stuff? I, I need to put it on eBay and I keep forgetting to go round to my granddad's house to get it. Because most of the time my granddad comes to my house. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, get ready for 80s. I'm not even joking. 80s. Um, so this is it. I can't even say it. Garcia. Garcia. Um, vintage coat. And I mean vintage. It's, it's crazy. So look at that. How fabulous is that? It's a huge jacket. I don't even... I think my mum wore it, wore it huge. She was never fat or anything. Well, ever. But I'm, sometimes you just wear a coat really oversized. The zip is caught. So that's not good. Okay, it's really caught on there. But I can't see. Check the pockets. What's in here? 20p. <laughs> she clearly didn't need that. Okay, there's nothing in there. But yeah, I don't know if there's an inside pocket. I feel like there would be. I generally haven't looked at this at all. So it says, care instructions, dry clean only. So I might actually just put that on like a, a delicate wash. Um, there is no size. There is no size. There's a bit of a damage on there. But I've literally sold a vintage coat on eBay with a huge rip on it for 20 quid. So I'm not worried at all. But yeah, it's just, it is so big. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm just going to check to see how much recording time I have. Okay, I only have 40 minutes. So, yeah, that's that. I probably will do this in like two sections, this haul. Okay, so now we have a, cell, a shell suit from the 80s. It's called Lady Olympus, made in Thailand. Okay, so here we go. I told you we are going to get into 80s, guys. This is just hideous, <laughs> but somebody will want it. Um, I think these are going for about, as a set, for about 20 quid. All this wants washing. Um, and then these are the matching trousers. How fabulous. I was so pleased to find out there was matching trousers with it because I just know a complete set would go for a little bit more. Because um, some people like to dress up as this is Halloween. Like, I want to be back from the 80s. Back to the future <laughs> type of vibes. Um, and then we have, okay, what's this? Uh, expression 80s jacket. So full on shoulder pads. It looks like something from Clueless. I absolutely think it's cool. Not my style, but I'm just saying it's cool. <laughs> Okay, what else is in this bag? And then we have my mum's old school bag, which I'm going to try and sell. Um, it is leather. I can tell it's leather. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. Okay, so that's one bag done. I'm going to show you a few records. Um, okay, so the first one is... By the way, these are all vinyl. Um, I'm just checking to see if there's the right things in there while I'm showing you. The Highland Fling. Um, I'm going to put this as like Scottish memorabilia um, just to try and get a bit more of a sale on there. And then we have got a huge, a huge album situation going on. Okay, um, so we've got Elton John. Elton John. Uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. And there he is with his famous Yellow Brick Road. Yellow brick, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm about. Dorothy red sparkly shoes with the path. Um, and it full on opens up to this huge situation. So yeah. Um, and then we've got uh, Back to the Earth. 
Okay, so this is a double-sided one. Cool. I don't know how you get in it though. I don't want to break. I don't want to break it because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is it. Yeah, back to the earth. Don't know what that is. This was actually bought for fifty p. I did look up this one. I think it was worth about four pounds. So when whoever bought it, my mum or my granddad, it only paid fifty p. And I believe it looks like a Woolworth sticker because I've I read some vintage Woolworth stuff before. Um, roaming in the gloaming. What? Um, Roman in the gloaming? Kenneth McSummer? I don't know. I can't see. Oh yeah, he's the right one. So yeah, that's that one. That one doesn't seem to have a price tag on it and how much it was bought for. So. I know a few of them do. This one's a bit of a weird one. David Lee Roth. This was bought for a pound. Yeah, that's the correct one. And then we've got Jackson Brownie. It's like a little house with a blue car. Um, yeah, that's the right one. Look how old it is. He looked like a heartthrob, didn't he? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'll show you a few more items. I haven't looked at these. Um, okay, so we've got a lovely vintage skirt with a fab print on that. No idea what brand it is, but that's not a problem because I sell them. Not a problem. Um, okay, this is a matching top. So I class this as like a dress because it's matching. Uh, Norman Linton, size 20. 100% polyester. Eat your heart out. Everything back then was just 100% polyester. It's so gross. So yeah, that's like the top of it. It's just a shirt style, nothing fabulous. It's got a tie around the back. Um, I'm trying to like hurry this along because I'm running out of memory. Okay, this has a stain on it, but I think I can get that out. So, I need to zip it up. So you can tell it's a crisscross. Um, no brand, but it's got matching, a matching, uh, oh, it's got like a neck thing going off. So yeah, I can't really show you because it's just so big. But yeah, that would look fab on the mannequin. I just know it will. Um, okay, it's going to start bugging me out in a minute. Um, we have a Armani big coat. Vintage coats don't seem to go quite well for me, but if someone made an offer, I won't say no. I'm going to show one more and then I'm going to leave it there. Okay, uh, St. Michael's with the tag, wow. Um, it's a dress and it's got like that dressing gown feel to it. Or is it a dressing gown? No, it's not. But yeah, it's just a long, full on dress. So yeah. <sighs> right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you have some great sales and I hope you have, have a great day. Um, don't forget to give a thumbs up. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you subscribe, then you'll be notified notified that I've put a new video out so don't forget to subscribe guys thanks for watching bye